All right. Good morning, y'all. Um, welcome to Coffee and Craps with John here from Pro Craps. Um, working on Casino Gaming TV today, and let's get started right away with our our morning ritual, which is Brian from Hawaii Crap Shooters three hundred fifty dollar four roll challenge. That's it. So um, let's get right after it. I'm going to run similar strategy that I always run on this thing because I don't want to just go chasing around random shit. I'm just going to run normal and really. The challenge is about the rolls, right? Can you get four good rolls in? It's not so much can you make insane bets. So let's do four solid rolls. And what I'm going to do, set myself up on the pass line with a quarter on the pass line. I'll do, uh, let's see, we're going to go inside. Actually, I'm going to go, I'm going to go all the way across. Let me get some nickels for this. The 160 across. I will grab my hard ways, as you know. Might as well go all in if we're gonna do this, right? And I'm not gonna jump into the field. I have 15 bucks that I could go into the field with at this level. Um, not gonna do it. Um, I just don't see the field being that valuable, and especially with four rolls only. Um, I don't wanna bleed off of these at all. And what I will do is I'll press inward as I go, and that's my thing. So here we go. Puck is gonna be off. I'm gonna set the dice up. First roll of the day, I have not warmed up. Um, so we're going to get what we're going to get here. Uh, let's see what happens. Here we go. We're going to come out, get our first number established. That's going to be, of course, one, two, three, right? We're going to jump out and lose a quarter right out of the gate. Sweet. Seem to do that a lot. This, uh, this, when I get going in the mornings, it seems like my first couple of rolls are always horn numbers. Um, let's go get us a number here. Come on. All right, there's a five, one, six coming out. There's gonna be a six. First point, first roll's coming up. First meaningful roll is coming up. Now everything is working. I just preset the bets there to save time for us. All right, here we go, coming out. Next next shot. A little too much, a little too much spin there, but that's a, a six, three, nine. So roll number one. Let's move this out of the way here. It's a six, three, nine. That'll pay uh, 35 bucks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run to the inside here as we go. So we'll get, we'll get bumped up to 60s and 50s and bring back a nickel. Let's try and get two inside hits. Maybe a hard way. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Nice route. Hard 10. Well, not on the on the outside ten, but that's okay. We ran we ran to the inside like the plan always is for me. Um, we'll take a hit on the hard ten. Now that's roll number two. And that's going to be um, seven to one. That's going to be one seventy five into the rack. Um, I'll leave this here. Actually, what I'm going to do um, is just be a little bit aggressive. I don't have enough. Eh, I'm not going to burn the reds. Um, let's go ahead and not. Not take the eight. I'll just I'll leave the I'll actually I'll leave the six. I'll let the, let, let the six on the point rain. I'll let 50, 50, 50, and 25 here. Um, I'll leave the hunt in the rack as what's going to become our profits. There's roll two. Let's get it. Let's get it. Here we go. Dice are out. There's an easy six. That's good. We only lost a quarter there, but we're going to win 70 up in here. That's gonna be our point being hit, by the way. I didn't do it as odds just because ease, right? So that's hit number three. We're coming back out for a new point. What I'm gonna do here with this money is I will now get the hard six for 50. And I'll take, let's see, how much can I do here? I'm gonna take, eh, it's a weird amount that I've got there. Let's go ahead and do, um, I'll get the four and 10 for, for 25 each. We'll just go back to the outside. We'll take one, with our last little bit here, we'll just take it and go back to the outside. I'll buy those for a quarter each. Coming out, puck is off. All the bets are off. Just get a number. It's gonna be an eight, cool. Now we're on, it's our last roll. Four rolls in, oh geez. Four rolls in. We got a point. We we uh, made the point. This is our last our last actual active live roll here. Can we survive 
Big red, first thing in the morning, let's find out. Love to get a hard eight or something like that here on the inside, let's do it. Well, we'll take an easy 10. That's not the greatest result, we'll lose 50 here, win 50 here, it's, it, it, it's a net zero on that, but we did get a couple of wins in the middle there. Let's get a quick color and see where we are. After four rolls, we're done. Started out with 350. Let's see, we have a quarter here. <coughs> Excuse me. Get all of our bets back. There's one, two, 300, 400, 500, 600, and five bucks. So 605 from a 350 start, that's a better day. A few inside hits, every, every roll we had paid something. That's the way you wanna see it, right? You wanna be in a nice groove like that and uh, take that nice $250 profit home with you. Pretty good way to start to start on a uh, on a Friday here. So let's get back to talking. How are y'all doing? Let's go see who's. Let's go look at the chat and see who all is here today. So I see uh, lots of good familiar faces. Today's gonna be a fun day. Um, I've got stuff for you. Joseph Ramis says good morning. Joseph, I, I think it was you that wrote me about Jacob's channel. Hope you found the website there. Um, Let's see, On Point says good morning, which is cool, good to see you, Mike. Um, let's see, I've got um, an interesting announcement to make. Let's go through the, let's go through the list over here. Um, let's go to this, and let's talk through our morning announcement. So obviously, the big one is gonna be tomorrow, Craps Chat, um, or not tomorrow, Sunday night with, uh, with Jeff and Skill and Luck dialing at Craps Chat. Um, he's gonna have Wager Me This on there, and Jacob, I suspect, will be talking about his giveaway, about his friends who do the axe throwing thing, so I believe today, tomorrow, is the last days to get to wagermethis.com and jump into Jacob's giveaway. So get over there if you can do that. Let's help him out, um, get that thing pumped up, and uh, let's see one of our friends on ESPN <laughs> as an actual like ESPN like presence. That'd be kind of cool to see him out there, so. Um, there we go. Midmo Yos says, do I play golf? Yes, I do play golf. Um, I don't play it good anymore. Um, I used to play golf as a kid. My, my story growing up, if you want to hear some backstory on me, um, as, a, as, a, as a young kid, like I played baseball my whole life. I, I was always a baseball player. Um, I didn't play football until high school. Um, I wrestled starting in seventh grade. So seventh grade, I got into wrestling. Um, and I didn't play football, football until as a freshman in high school. But in my sophomore year, junior year of wrestling, I was, I was at a camp, we were screwing around and our heavyweight did the actual, like remember the backbreaker move, right? You bounce a guy over your knee. Um, he did that to me um, as a junior, coming into junior year wrestling and broke my back. I actually broke one of my the little wings off your vertebrae, broke off in that move. So it was actually a backbreaker for me. And I missed basically a full school year. I was home for about three or four months. That's how I got into computers actually, I was home and I was on the computer. Um, when I was in seventh grade, it was, it was crappy old TRS-80 computers, but that's what I had um, to help me out with homework, believe it or not. So um, that's what happened there. I picked up golf, because I couldn't swing a baseball bat anymore. Um, it was too violent of a swing for my back. Of course, I couldn't play football or wrestle anymore. That was out. So I picked up golf, and I became almost a scratch golfer um, in high school. I practiced so much. The therapy for my back was so good, um, I became al almost scratch. I was like a two or three handicap during high school. Um, haven't played now in about 10 or 15 years, but I do plan to play in Vegas during DiceCon, so that'll be kind of fun. Um, all right, what else do we have here? Um, where will we go to Craps Chat? So Walter, Craps Chat will be on Casino Gaming TV. I think there's already a link to it. I think if you go to Casino Gaming TV, I think Jeff, from Mid-Atlantic has already put the link out there so you can go there and catch it. Um, if you're in our Discord, it'll be linked in the Live Now channel in Discord. You'll find a link to the, to the live stream. Unfortunately with YouTube, and somebody asked me this yesterday, YouTube's live streams, every, every show is a new link, right? There's not like one link I can send you to that's always the stream, like it would be for a real TV channel. Every video you do is technically a new thing to YouTube, so. They don't make this easy, I can tell you that. Um, all right, so the next thing to talk about is uh, combatants for Friday Night Fights. Now check this out. I have, um, let's see, that's the wrong screen. I have, there we go. Um, I don't know why you're not seeing me on there, but um, can you see me now? No, hold on, nope. 
Sorry, um, let's do that. All right. The Casino Gaming TV website um, is up. It is launched. There it is. I'm going to zoom into it a little bit for you. Um, go to casinogaming.tv and you will be able to log in. Now, if you have a Discord account, I'll walk you through it. If you have a Discord account, you can, I'll log out for you. You can log in. If you're on Casino Gaming TV's Discord channel, you can log into it. It'll take you to this thing here where you say, yes, sign in. You'll agree to all the, yes, I authorize the app to do the things. Now you're back here and you're logged in. Click on the heads up craps link. You'll see that I am the king of the mountain only because I had to put somebody there. All you gotta do is click the sign up button and you'll be in the list. And the first person in the list is the first person that gets to play and that's it. What I'm gonna actually do is the first two people in the list will play the first match. I am not the king of the mountain. I'll probably deal it the first time. Um, so the first two people, I'll put you in the list. We'll make a new king, starting with game one. So if you want to be in, go to casinogaming.tv, get signed in, get signed up in the queue here, and then you will we'll start doing the actual thing. So um, please get signed up. This has been fun to design the app. It's been fun to design the, the parameters around how we play the heads up Friday night thing. Let's get it done. The app is ready to go. It doesn't look great. I know that. I'm not a great designer. I'm a great coder code works, we can get somebody to make it pretty later. But for now, get yourselves in here and signed up. That's, I'm really excited to have that finally done. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just excited about it because it, it's, it's been a long time coming and we've done a lot of work, a lot of practice rounds. I think we're actually ready to make this real and go every Friday night. I think we're going to, we're going to call it at Friday night at 6 PM Pacific time will be the time that we do these things. 9 PM East. That's not too late. Um, hopefully for the East Coast folks, you can go out and get dinner, come back and then play. If you're on the West Coast, you do this right before dinner and you're and you're good. So there it is. There's Heads Up Craps, finally ready to go. And maybe we'll get some more people in Discord now. Maybe we'll get that Discord loaded up and get a few hundred people in there ready to play. So um, I am stoked, stoked about this. So there we go. Um, all right, let's look at the next announcement. There is no more announcements. Let's just play craps. Um, oh, there is an announcement, actually. I, just, I should have put it on here. Um, I forgot to tell you. Yesterday, um, let's do a quick, a quick, quick review because I don't want to get too, too in detail with it. But Jeff from Mid Atlantic Craps ran the Sideshow Gamble Challenge. Um, he was called out by Mike at On Point Craps. Mike at On Point Craps, if you don't know how this challenge works, Sideshow Gamble Chris started a bankroll of 500 bucks and he won 300. He's trying to win 50%. He exceeded that. And then he said, hey, I'm going to give this rack of 800 bucks to Dice DJ. Let's see what you can do with it win 50%. So DGen went and ran it. He won 50% and he passed it to somebody. He passed it to somebody. He passed, I won't give you the whole pathway. They each won 50% and passed it to somebody else. Well, yesterday Jeff went and Jeff had a monster freaking roll. I think it was 36 rolls before the seven. It was great. He played his, uh, the, the, the three, three, three strategy that they've been working on the three thirty inside for three hits, um, with some other little magic in there and did it. He won a thousand bucks. And uh, he passed the rack to me. So um, I spent yesterday um, mulling over what I was gonna do. I will not spoil it for you. Um, but I spent a lot of time yesterday, you'll hear in the video, vacillating about what am I gonna play. I finally uh, rolled it out last night. Um, and then I, um, there it is. So I, I did the challenge yesterday. So I will not tell you who wins or if I won or not. I will not tell you anything about it other than I did set it as a premiere for 10 a.m. this morning, my time. So 10 o'clock in the morning Pacific time on the Pro Craps channel, if you're subscribed to Pro Craps, you'll get an alert, join me, I'll watch it live with you, and I'll be in the chat room. We can, you guys can give me, can flip me a bunch of grief if you want to, and we can kind of chat about how that rollout went and all that kind of stuff. So I um, haven't done one of those, a regular like video video in a while. Um, I'm used to going live, so filming a video and having to kind of narrate around it was weird. So hopefully it works out okay and you will enjoy the video. There we go. So that that's the that's the actual big announcement for today. So um, Jeff called me out. Jeff had a great role. You gotta watch Jeff's video. Um, I had a role last night that I will not tell you about until 10 o'clock. I'll see you there in the in the live premiere and and there we go. So with all that said, I'm gonna go play some craps. And today is it is uh um, Friday Friday folly. So we're just gonna go ahead and have some fun. I'm gonna go ahead and get the roll tracker figured out here. Um, let's make sure I can get something into it. I have to, I have to reset it every time when we go. Let's go back and play. Um, 
a little bit of something crazy. Now this strategy that I'm gonna run this morning, um, the way that we do this, Friday night fights, right? Or, or the Friday night fights, the, um, the Friday follies. I always do a strategy that's fun, not necessarily one that I would play in a casino. These are just kind of things that I think are entertaining and we have a good time with them. And although they can win, and this may win today, um, it's not the kind of thing I would go as my go-to strategy. So that's what we're gonna do. I got my rack here in the middle. Um, I'm gonna just bet box numbers today. And let's go ahead, and let's, let's just do a bankroll. I don't care what it is. Let's just do like, I'll put a grand in here. Um, actually I'll put, let's see, I'll, I'll, this, it doesn't really matter. We're not gonna play that long. Um, let's just go with like 500 bucks, all right? And I'll do $500, get my some lammers out here, and I'm gonna play the buttercup. Now, if you don't know the buttercup, um, this buttercup strategy was actually, it's, it's one that people have done before, right? This is, you may have, called, may have heard this called the tower strategy. You may have heard it called, I think Jeremy from Color Up did a video where he called this the, the, the hungry six and eight. Um, it's got all kinds of names. Um, Greg named this the buttercup. And the reason why we call this the buttercup is because the last time I rolled it, or the first time I rolled this out live, um, you'll, I'll, I'll, I'll explain as I go, but I had this really funny situation where what the way this works is simply this. I'm gonna go ahead and go 160 across, just like I just did, okay? We're gonna go 160 across. Let's get some nickels in here. And basically, every single win that you get, every single win, you just pile up on the six and eight. You just pile these things up evenly. So whatever I get here, 35 bucks, we're just gonna go, you know, split it up between the two of them and keep pumping them up by 12 bucks, 12 bucks, 12 bucks every single time. Eventually I'll start pressing out here too. And you only collect on these two. So these two get really high, really crazy amounts. And you only collect on these. These things always just press the middle. So you kind of like layer up and tower up the middles, right? Well, I ran this one time and um, I hit everything but the six and eight. I, had, I think I had the eight up to like 300 bucks that day. Like we had pumped that thing all the way to the scale. I had like a 40 roller or whatever, what, 27 or whatever it was. I never hit either one of them. And Greg was in the chat. Greg from 555 Craps was in the, in the chat singing, fill me up, buttercup baby. And it, it was kind of a joke. So um, it ended up being called the buttercup because I filled it up and it broke my heart to not ever hit a six and eight. So that's why I called the buttercup. Um, I don't love strategies where you don't collect, right? We always say, you know, as a smart craps player, always be collecting. That's one of Jeff's things. It's, it's really kind of a, a thing that everybody should be doing, right? Always be collecting. But this one is like never collect. This strategy's whole is based on never actually collecting until you get only one of those numbers. And you're basically gonna burn 160 every single shooter until you get a miracle on one of these two. So it's a fun thing to do just to see if you can get these things pumped up, but we're gonna same bet the six and eight every single time. We're gonna take these $35 wins. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna pump those up by 12 bucks each every single time and take a small little win back. We'll probably take the nickels and press ourselves up out here to get extra action as we go. But that's the, that is the strategy. So um, the puck doesn't matter other than um, I'm gonna be off on the come out rolls. I'm not gonna run this thing perpetually and fight the seven every single roll. We're gonna kind of go with, with puck rhythm. And for this, I'm gonna roll my, the John set. I know Waylon's got his own set. Um, everybody asks me, what do I do when I, when I roll? Um, I typically do this. And here's how, I, this is, by the way, go watch Hawaiian Crap Shooter's video, All You Need to Know About Dice Setting. It's a great, great, great video on dice setting. Because dice setting is hard to get your sets right. Brian in that video, um, it, it's kind of interesting. I never, I never did it this way until I watched that video, but you start with the hard way set, always. Always start setting your dice to the hard ways, and then everything you do, and again, my hard way set is fours on top, sixes on the ends, right? Once you get here, adjust, right? If I turn this die this way, it's the 3V set. If I instead flip this die, it's the 2V set. What I do is I actually take my dice and I, I turn one and I flip it. So I have a four, five on top and a two, six in front of me. So it's four, two, five, six. I put them on their ends and I snap them. I 
I, I flick them like, like the chopper, right? That's how I throw. So when I'm throwing here, this set tends to work mostly in here for me. The way I throw, the way they land, this is where I tend to be. That's what I'm gonna throw today. So just so you know, I'm, I'm trying to hit the middles as best I can. So here we go. Dice are out. Let's get a first point. Um, it's a seven, it doesn't matter. But I will log it. I will log the seven just so that we have the, the dice tracker here. Um, has everything kind of accurate. So if you wanna rewatch later, play along at home, whatever, you can do so. Let's get our, our set going here. That's gonna be a four, one, five. Our first point's gonna be a five. Now, I've gotta hit some inside numbers or hit some box numbers at least. And let's start pressing this guy up. Four, one, and we'll, just, okay, we'll start working that six and eight as high as we can. The idea is every other number, you collect nothing. You press the six and the eight as best you can, and you press yourselves around you the best you can and start working, working it as high as you can get it, if we can do it. It's a hard four, that's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and get, um, I'm not gonna play Vegas. I'm, I, you know me, I don't, I don't mess around with Vegas only because I don't wanna deal with pennies and all that. But normally, what this looks like for you, you're gonna have to have a, a set of, let's put them in the rack here. There's 10 whites. That's gonna be 50 for one coming out the gate. That's how this normally works. Um, we can do this just to keep it straight and work the pennies out of here, but it doesn't matter that much. Um, what I'm gonna do here is take these two, and um, because it was a four and 10, I could press these in here by 24 bucks each and get $2 and change. That's probably the smart thing to do. Let's take these two out here. I'm gonna get two bucks and change, and we'll press those both by $24. And it's, again, we're just gonna run these things as high as humanly possible. And so by going to 24 bucks, they become $54 bets. Boom and boom with two bucks change. I would rather have power press them to 60 because the math is easier, but so, so what, we'll be okay with that. It's a good little win right there. Get to bump those things pretty high. Let's get some of them to pay off and be in good shape there. All right, here we go. Dice are gonna be set, stacked, and out. Not throwing random today, I'm gonna to actually get some practice in, so it's gonna take me a hot minute to get through it. There's a four, two, six, right? That is A-OK -okay with me. Let that rolled on me there, four, two, six. All right, we'll take our, our win. 63, coming back to the rack. Got some whites, got some reds, got some greens. Let's actually turn this around this way here. Sweet. 426 has been logged. And again, we're only ever collecting on those. We're never, we're never pressing the six and eight from themselves. They're just gonna be collected on. There's another 426. Just gonna same bet that bad boy. All right, there we go. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a couple of pennies in here and get a nickel, extra nickel for that. All right, there's our, I don't know why I put the greens on the outside. There we go. Not bad so far. Take that, 426, did I log it? I did not. Four and two, there we go. I'll sit here all day long and run these, run sixes and eights and just kind of collect. It'd be awesome if we can do that, right? There's an eight. Fan freaking tastic. I'll do it again. We'll drop two. And we'll get 65 for two. Doing well so far. Love it. I may have to get some color for those greens and reds in there in a minute just to get the rack a little bit more under control than it is, but that's fine. Oh, I didn't log that eight in, did I? Six, three, six, two, eight. There we go. Let's get some other numbers. I wanna start pressing up if I can. There's a six, three, nine, that's beautiful. Six, three, nine. So the nine's gonna pay 35 bucks. I'm gonna take the 25, and we're gonna make that look like 24 and one. So it'll be 20, 24, and one 
back to the rack, and we're gonna press these up in here by $12 each. So 12, that's gonna be 50, 65, $6, $66 on each. And the towers are a building. They're 66 bucks each. That's pretty awesome, okay? I have two red chips left over. I'm gonna press the five and nine to 30 bucks. Okay, so whatever change I get from these other hits, we're gonna press as high as we can in here, press ourselves so that we can eventually press these things by a little bit more and build those towers as high as we can build the towers. All right, here we go. Dice are out, or up anyway. Oh, they clicked, what happened? One, two, three. They landed right on top of each other. Ugliness on that throw, so one, two, three. Don't love that result. But again, you know, when you're, when you're this is why we practice, right? We practice consistency. That was a much better throw. That's a hard four. Two, two, hard four. That'll be, um, again, 50 for one coming out of the gate there. And then what do we do with the 50 bucks, right? I'd like to get these things pressed as high as I can. Now, what I've got here is this. I've got $50 um, underneath. I can make those look like 75, take the two bucks back and make them both 90. So I'm just gonna make them a straight 90, like so. Use that whole thing and bring back the whites to the rack. Two and a two. Oh, I already put the two, I'm sorry. My mistake, I put. I already logged that one in. Let's take that out, go back here. Nice thing I can, with the roll tracker, I can easily delete a mistake. All right, here we go. Getting them set, getting them stacked, and getting them spun. Let's do this. There's a three, three, hard six. That's 105. Gotta love that, right? Again, six and eight. Pure collections, that's all we're doing is collecting. And there we go. I'm not even sure, actually, I mean, all this we're doing, we're doing pretty good here, right? Um, we started with 160. I'm not even sure I made 160. I, I, I did make 160, but it's like, it's a lot of work <laughs> to make your money back when you're going across, um, when you're not collecting very often. Like we're, we're doing, we're rolling okay here, but um, we're not collecting all that often. Again, the Buttercup is all about just those two numbers. And if I'm not rolling sixes and eights, none of this stuff matters, right? So luckily I'm getting some, but um, you need those two to really kind of drive drive things. There's a 639, um, that'll pay 42 bucks. Um, let's pay the 42 in reds. So there's 20, 30, 40, $42. And so what we'll do with the 42 bucks is we'll take our six and eight as high as we can with this. So I can get them up by $18 each more. So out of each of these 20s, if I put the fives um, in the rack and grab three bucks for each, that'll be 18 to press them up with. And that will take them to, let's see, I, I do the math on the fly here, but um, that'll be, it looks like another quarter each. So 108 for each of those. They're $108. Let me go ahead and make those look like black chips for you. 108 each. Okay, there we go. 108 on the six and the eight. That's a 639, which I have not put in the, oh, I did put in the logger. Good. Look at me go, man. I'm getting, I'm getting this, this whole roll tracker thing figured out. It's taken me a while to get used to the rhythm of rolling, logging, and getting it all set. Um, so what do we have there? A six, two, eight, bango, bango, six, two, eight. So 108, uh, what does 108 pay? I don't even know what 108 pays. Um, 108 pays one, 105 and, 105 and 21. So 120, yeah, 126, I guess. Ah, ugliness. Those go there. Okay, 126. 
Another black chip, another white chip. Look at us go. What was he? Six, two, eight. Did I log it? I didn't log it. Six, two, eight. All right, here we go. Dice are up. Oh, that was short. Uh, three, two, five. All right, there's our point. That's cool. 42 bucks. Like before, I'll pay it in reds. 15, 42. So $42 for a hit on the five. And what we'll do again with the 42 bucks is we're going to press ourselves up by 18 each. So I'll take two reds out of here. I'll get three and three. They'll go up by 18 each. And how that's going to look, I got to go ahead and do the, do the, do the math real quick and see what this actually turns itself into. Let's see what that becomes. That becomes, let's see, 120. Eh, you know what? It could be 126. Let's just go one, let's make them both 120. It just makes the math easier. I'm not gonna go all the way up. We'll go to 120 and leave it like that. that that's a better, a better round number pressed, I think. So 325, I didn't mark that. And we'll leave them at 120. That way I can just get 140 out of them the next time through. Um, dice are going to be out. New come out roll. I'm just going to randomly wing them down there. The point will be six this time. Four, two, six. All right, here we go. Coming out. Let's bang it. Let's bang it. What do we got there? Five, three, eight. Sweet. One, 140 coming back to me, loving that. 120 pays 140, there's gonna be reds, there's gonna be a green, there's gonna be a black. Uh, I can't reach. 538, did I mark that in? I can't tell if I put it in or not, I didn't. Five and a three. All right, here we go. Guys are stacked. Oh, they hit the air again. Six, four, ten. Cool. That'll pay again 50 for the VIG. And we'll go up here and make these as even a bet as I can. So we'll go to 125. Um, let's go to one, uh, 124. I guess I can do, what's the next, what's the next, the next legal bet I can make here? Um, I guess if I make them, make them both go up by 24, that'll make them at one, 148. Let's do that. Let's go to 148 with those things. I'll put the 50 in there and we'll go to one. Actually, you know what? Let's go to 150. It'll be easier to go to, to go to, let's go to straight. I'll power press it a little bit. We'll go to 150 again. We'll keep the math, the math nice and easy. Let's just do that. We'll go to 150. There we go. 150 on the six and eight. Six, four, 10's been logged. I'm gonna get all this dealer math down at some point where I can just do it with my eyes closed, but not quite there yet. Here we go, dice are flying. Buttercup today is working out okay. There's a one, two, three. One, two, three. Waylon says that's saucy. I don't like seeing I don't like seeing horn numbers out of the set. That's uh, concerning. There we go. Three, two, five. Again, forty-two bucks. I'll keep doing it in reds. There's forty-two. 20, 40, two, let me log that in, three, two, five, okay? And so again, we're gonna go up by 18 bucks. I'll take the 10 here. We'll get 18 there, and we'll put all this back in the rack. Actually, we'll take the, the nickels here. We'll put the five and nine both up to 45 bucks. We'll just use those and we'll press it up. Uh, oh, duh, it stays here with me. 
sorry about that. It's dumbness on my part. Um, that'll be 150, 165, 168 on the six and eight. I have no idea what that pays. Um, it's gonna pay good. Let's just say that, 168 to the six and eight. Um, there, I, I know there's there's all kinds of keys that they was used to get this stuff. The, the reds get a white and the greens get a red. Um, but I'm just, I, I gotta practice. Here we go, dice are out. Five, three, eight. Okay, now I gotta do the freaking math, right? So we know that 150 pays 175. And we know that 18 pays 21. So that's 195, 196 is what's coming back. I'm gonna go uh, 200 for four. Rack the blacks where I can. Those are mine from earlier. That's a 538 to get logged in. Here we go. They're stacked. And they're out. Oh, that was ugly, ugly, ugly. Another 325 though, that worked out good. Okay, um, and again, we'll take 42 bucks on that one. I'm gonna pay it with a green chip here because I'm, I'm getting a little low. So 20, there's $42, we'll get paid there. And let's make this next bet as proper as we can and I'll, and I'll start getting some more press here. So 42 bucks, um, what can I do with that? I'm at 175 or 150 here. Um, we can take these easily to 180. Um, that's what I'll do. I'll go to 180 with them to make the, the payment easier for myself. Let's get two nickels out of there. And there's 180. And with the excess that I've got here, I've got 25 bucks. Let's get the, um, the five and nines pressed up again. I'll move them to 40 bucks. And I'll put the rest in my rack. Building up those towers. Love it. Okay, did I log that in? Three, two, five, I did not. Three, two. Whoops. Three, two, there we go. Where's my dice? Here we go. All right, dice are out. Oh, that was horrible. There's the seven. So the seven finally comes and takes away our, our money. Um, through all of that, and I didn't, I didn't do what I, what I said I was gonna do. Let's take this all down. Um, we'll count this up because it's always interesting to see how much money you, you left on the table. Um, and as I say this out loud, there's a quarter for that. So we had 200, 300, 375, 390 out there, which is a lot of money. 390 on the, on the, on the felt is, you know, sizable amount that we just kind of burned there. Um, I read a book the other day, and I'll, I won't spoil the whole surprise for you, but I read this book, I'll review it on Monday, and the author of the book made the statement in bold, believe it or not, that the way you measure a good roll is by how much money you have on the felt when the seven comes. Literally, that's what he said. Um, and I, you know, I will preach you the exact opposite of that. You don't measure your good roll by how stupid you were and how much money you left out here. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever read. Um, but he was all in on that. So here we go. Let's color up and see where we ended up. There's our, we had, we started with 500, right? So there's, that's gonna be 400. There's three greens. I'll get this into a green. There's our starting bankroll, which means all of this minus the 10 whites, because I brought the 10 whites out to pay those vigs. This really is our profit here. So we did all right. We did, you know, there's, there's 500 in black. The buttercup today actually filled us up, um, which is good. Look at that, another hundred dollars in red. Not bad, right? Um, 615 bucks on that. Um, and I'm gonna attribute 100% of that to the way I rolled the dice today. I'm gonna give myself all the credit in the world for, for rolling today. Um, I've been practicing more as of late. Um, I've been going to the casino a little more often and I've been working on my shot a little bit more and working on that set. And I think you can tell when I switch from hard ways and random rolling into the set I like, I definitely find this butter zone in here. I definitely can find that butter zone. And today we did a pretty good job. If I look at the rolls today, 
Um, you know, if you're a dice influence believer or not, um, we had a 22 roll groove there, which ain't bad, right? So if you can make 600 bucks on 20 rolls, that's pretty good, right? Um, you know, could you have pressed everything else? Hell yeah, right? We could have pressed all the numbers as they hit and done it that way. But because it's Friday Follies, we buttercup the whole thing and just towered up the six and eight and just made these enormous bets on the six and eight and just kind of keep coming back in. And that's the way you do it. So technically speaking, had I pulled back at any point in time there, um, the 400 that I lost on the box, get my uh, screen up here. The 400 that I lost in the box, coupled with the 600 that I actually pulled back, it's a thousand dollar roll right there, um, which really ain't bad. Um, so that's interesting, right? And yeah, look at all the action gone, right? Don't measure your rolls by how much you get burned on on the seven. Smart player pulls that back at some point, right? And know where you are, right? If you're managing your rack with Lammers or whatever you're gonna do, and you know you've got $600 in your rack, and you look on the felt, you go, I got you know, 400 bucks out there. Give me that back, let's go 44 inside and start over again. Um, that's a smart play. Today, Friday Follies, let's just go ahead and run it up, right? So on a Friday the 13th, um, Friday Follies, let's just go as high as we can and have as much fun as humanly possible. So um, yeah, you wanna see a roll like that in Vegas, let's go. You know, I actually, um, I've, I've been lucky recently. I've been rolling about like that most times. I get a good 10 to 12 to 15 roller most of the time at the casino. And I that's why I say I'm, I'm a quick hitter. I come in, if I have that roll, I'm gone, right? I, I can, But I can drive 15 minutes. You know, have the roll and go home and be okay with it. So, um, as you get more consistent like that, it's 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 fun. Those are those are fun. Um, all right, I think that's all I got to say um, today. I'm looking at chat, making sure there's anything here in chat that I need to, need to address um, or questions y'all had asked for me. Um, oh, that would be fun. Yes, absolutely. Um, I will not tell you how many sevens I rolled in my video. You have to watch the video with me at 10 o'clock to find out how many sevens did John roll in the video. Um, I will tell you, I don't think I rolled like that in the video. I don't think I had that monster of a roll, but um, I do switch the dice set in the video, right? I go from one to the other to try and, and, and make things happen, and we'll see, we'll see how, it, how it happens. Um, let's look at uh, questions. Are there questions? Um, let's see. I don't see anything... Anything uh, specific to be addressed here, so we're good. All right, um, happy Friday, folks. Here's what I want. I'm gonna go really quick. I'm gonna check out the uh, the Casino Gaming TV thing. There's nobody, There's actually there's three people in the queue. Um, Carl, Buckeye, and Sideshow already are in the King of the Mountain queue. That's great, we have three people queued up, which means we have three weeks of content, which is awesome. Um, get yourselves in there, please. And I want, again, not just the YouTubers in there. Let's get everybody in there. Let's have, let's have 50 people in the queue. Let's get this thing going. Um, I'll schedule the match tonight. Um, I'll get it all figured out here during the day at work. Um, don't tell my boss. Um, I'll get it figured out. I'll get schedules arranged and, and going. The one rule we're gonna implement here is this. If you're on top of the queue and um, your match is a Friday night at six o'clock and you don't show, you forfeit the game. That's it, you're out of the queue. You forfeit, you gotta come back into the bottom of the queue again. So once you lose, you can go right back in the queue, jump into the bottom. Um, but if you don't show for your match, um, and, that, and that can happen, right? You may have dinner, you may have plans, whatever else. We have to forfeit it, next person up, and that's how we're gonna do it. So I wanna keep the queue moving. So even if you're second or third on the list, be ready to go on Friday, because you never know if somebody can't make it, um, and that'll happen. So there it is, guys. Um, happy Friday, thanks for hanging out with me all week. It was a fun week. Um, interesting ups and downs all week long. Some of the takeaways that I have are this. Um, we had the pass line player, right? I played the pass line guy as the kind of a control experiment all week long. Two days, hit their goal right away and we're out. It was awesome. Yesterday, they didn't hit their goal. The other guys hit the goal first and we stopped playing so that guy never had a chance to come back and hit his goal. Today, um, I hit two points. So out of all those rolls, I hit two points. So the pass line player with odds would have won twice today had I put his bets out there. I just forgot to do it, I'm sorry. But that guy would have also made a couple hundred bucks um, because we had two two decent points. We had a point of six and a point of five that I think I made. So um, that player would have done as as well good today. I just did not put I, I just didn't put him out there. I forgot to do that. But let's call it out that he did okay. The other plays we did this week were those huge bankroll plays, which can work 
when you use your bankroll against the house, right? And Vince said it yesterday really well that um, the, the the permanent press it's a it's a marker play. Like you're gonna go with ten thousand bucks to win five hundred. You're not trying to take ten thousand and win five thousand. Like you'll never do it. That that strategy is not built for that. It's you 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 catch a seven when you have seven thousand dollars out there. You're out of money. You're using ten k to win five hundred on the regular. It's a marker play. And again, you're trying to basically create your own house edge with a play like that. And I rolled out one of Waylon's strategies for the first time this week. It's been a long time. I rolled his stuff out way back, but not recently. Um, I, I, again, I, I'm not a strategy channel, right? I like to teach you the math and how things work and the flow of the game. If I can use somebody's strategy to make a point, I will. I used Waylon's yesterday to make a point. Um, his stuff is a lot of fun to play. Um, you, I love loading the rack up with a huge amount of money and just, you know, playing with want and abandon, it's fun to do that. And it's fun to watch the math work. When you have a big bankroll and you can chase and you can regress back down again, watching the math do its thing, when you have the hammer and the hammer being your bankroll, it's fun to watch it work out. And that's why I enjoy playing Wayland strategies when I practice them, it's fun to do that. Um, it's also fun to do crazy shit like this, which is just you know a ridiculous move that you'd never do in a casino, but that's a fun little strategy right there. It's hard. And I said, I've done it before where I've had that six and eights Howard up to 300 bucks. Today we were at um, 180 on them. Um, I've, I've had them to 300 before and never hit them. So, you know, you got to make sure you're, you're hitting those damn things and get some money out of it. So, all right. With that said, folks, um, let's get out of here. It's Friday. Um, I'll see you back at, hopefully at 10 o'clock on the ProCraps channel to watch the premiere of my my stab at the um, at the Sideshow Gamble Challenge. We'll see how, how I did. And... Um, I will hopefully see somebody, um, some of you tonight for Friday night, uh, Friday night fights. So that's it. It's Friday. It's nine o'clock. I got work. Um, love y'all. God bless everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.